Hello, this is a very quick tutorial looking at a function of lab chart that you might not have used to date and that function is the multiple add to data pad function. Um, you'll see here on the screen we have some data. Uh, these are data taken from a uh, cardiovascular practical looking at dynamic exercise. If I just scale this in, you can see here this is a heart rate plot over time and the load on the cycle ergometer has been increased. This is the data set we've used quite a lot before. Um, what I'm interested in, however, is the last uh, couple of minutes of this recording on the screen here where the subject starts to rest and you can see over the period of rest the heart rate continues to drop. So you may want to ask a question um, about this drop and you may want to sample data at regular intervals along these data to be able to uh, plot it on a graph for instance. Um, you've seen ways of doing this manually and we've shown this in various tutorials before. You can use the marker tool and drop it on a uh, time point and then using the time window up here we can select from 0 seconds let's say to 10 seconds add the mean of that to data pad and then select from 10 seconds uh, let's just go to 20 seconds and you can add those data to data pad as well and it'll calculate a mean of each of these 10 second increments across the time well there is an automatic way of doing this within lab chart and that is the multiple add to data pad function so um, we can select the area we're interested in which is from rest to the uh, end of this, the Borg reading at the end of this here and you can see on our time we've got from 18 minutes where they started rest through to 20 minutes or almost 21 minutes so we've got about three minutes of um, event going on here so we could look at this and go well let's select five seconds every 20 seconds. So we'll select the first 5 seconds and leave for 15, select the next 5 seconds, leave for 15, select the next 5 seconds and take averages of those data. That's one thing we could do, so let's just have a look at those data when we do that. So we can go to the commands menu and choose multiple add to data pad and it brings up this window. So we're going to use time because we've selected an area of time and we're going to select 5 seconds every 20 seconds and we're going to allow the final selection to be shorter so if the last section of the data isn't a full five seconds it'll only select what's available that's absolutely fine with me and, and we're going to step through just the current selection not the whole file that would be mad just the current selection and select the data from here we can click add that happened faster than you could see but a little bar went across here and did some measurements we can then go to our data pad in here we have the numbers the first five seconds, the second five seconds, etc, etc. And you can see we've got um, seven or eight readings here showing the heart rate dropping down. And these are averages of five seconds of heart rate. So I can uh, delete those numbers. And let's go back to our chart view and do another analysis. So let's now go to commands, multiple add to data pad. And this time we're going to choose five seconds every five seconds. So it's going to be selecting five second bins and we're going to do the same function you saw there it flew across go to data pad and now we have considerably more data and these are averages of five seconds taken every five seconds so it's a, a rolling average as we go through the file so you can see this is a very quick way of acquiring average data into bins it does require you to look at the raw data to make sure that what you can see on the screen is reflective of what you're trying to uh, decide but I think it's a very quick and easy way of binning data from, a, uh, from an experiment that involves changes over time. I hope that helps.